poor audio using too much CPU? Here's how to fix it. Confirm if core audio is the problem. Open the Activity Monitor application. In Activity Monitor, click on the CPU tab at the top. You'll see a list of processes sorted by how much CPU they are using. Look for Core Audiod in the list. If Core Audiod uses a lot of CPU power, it will be near the top of the list. This means it could be the cause of the problem you're experiencing. Before moving to the next step, we would like to recommend Combo Cleaner. To keep your device running smoothly, avoid malware infections, and free up disk space, we recommend using Combo Cleaner. Available for Windows, Mac, Android, and iOS devices. Download and install it today at ComboCleaner.com. Grab our limited deal for Windows and Mac users. Use the coupon code PCRISK30 for 30% off at the checkout. Verify the audio preferences directory. When Finder is selected, click on the Go menu at the top of the screen and select Go to Folder. In the path bar that appears, enter the following path, slash library slash preferences slash audio slash. If you are directed to an audio folder, everything is set up correctly. Reset Core Audio. Open the terminal application. In the terminal window, type or paste this command sudo kill all core audio press return on your keyboard you'll be asked for your password type it in and press return again delete unnecessary items from your mac clear out the junk files on your mac with combo cleaner in combo cleaner select the disk cleaner tab to start scanning your mac after the scan is complete review the list and remove unnecessary stuff then, go to the Big Files, Duplicates, and Uninstaller tabs and do the same to remove junk files. Update Mac. Click the Apple logo and select System Settings. Go to General and click Software Update. Wait for your MacBook while it searches for updates. If an upgrade is available, click Update Now and Restart Mac. Keep track of audio apps. Open each audio app you use and see if the problem occurs. Determine if the issue happens in just one app or in multiple apps. If the problem is with just one app, check if there is an update available for that app. If an update is available, install it. Check for malware on your Mac. To check for malware, you need a special tool. We recommend using Combo Cleaner's Malware Scanner. Open Combo Cleaner. Click on the Antivirus tab in the Combo Cleaner app. Choose the type of scan you want to run, Quick Scan, Full Scan, or Custom Scan. The scanning process may take some time, especially if you choose a full scan. Be patient and let Combo Cleaner do its job. After the scan, Combo Cleaner will show a list of any malware or suspicious files it found. Select the malware or suspicious files you want to remove. Click on the Remove button to get rid of them. After removing the malware, restart your Mac to ensure all changes take effect. To keep your Mac clutter and virus free, download the Combo Cleaner. It will check your computer for malicious software infections and advertising supported software. The Disk Cleaner will scan Mac for application cache, logs, browser data, and other useless files that can be safely removed to regain valuable disk space. It will also show you how much space what files take up in storage. With Combo Cleaner you can look through all big files with ease and delete the ones you don't need. You can also scan for duplicate files. Sometimes you might not know that you have a few copies of the same file. With Privacy Scanner eliminate data stored when browsing the internet, including cookies, history, cache, and other files that can reveal your private information. The Uninstaller feature allows you to find hidden components of applications and uninstall them from your Mac completely with just a couple of clicks. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, subscribe to our channel.